Hi, welcome to my channel where I share my knowledge on programming the DJI Telodromes with Python. Today is going to be the first in a three video series where we're going to be programming a keyboard control GUI using Keycanter for controlling our Telodromes. Now in today's video we're going to start by building the basic framework for the GUI and in the following videos we'll look at adding a video stream to it and then binding our Tello objects so that we can control the key presses. Today we're going to be using the button, label, and TK objects of the tkenter library. And we're going to do so first in an object-oriented way by building a class and implementing it. And then we'll take that and we'll convert it into a simple linear Python script to see that we can achieve the same results. Now without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're going to start by first creating our class such that when we run our program and initialize it, we will see a tkenter window with a label and a button on it. We're gonna, not going to add the video stream at first. We're not going to do anything with the drone. We're going to stick with just this. This will maybe keep things a little simpler so that everything can be understood in a linear fashion. So for our initial setup, we're going to import from the tkenter library tk for our root window, label to create a label that will show our video stream, and a button to send the takeoff and land commands. Now for now, we're going to first create our drone controller class and we're going to just initialize it with a root window, a label, and a button. And we're not going to pack these to the, to the root window in the initialization, but we are going to define a title and a minimum size for the root window to appear, as well as that the label and the button are both a part of our root window. And for the button, we're going to find its text as takeoff or land. And we're going to find that there is going to be a command, but for now, nothing happens if you press it. So with our initialization done, we need a way to pack these to the window and have the main loop run. We're gonna, so to do this, we're going to define a run app method. In this, we're going to use exception handling just to include best coding practices. But just know that when we enter this method, we're going to go in the try block and we're going to try to pack these to the root window. We're going to pack the button on the bottom of the window and we're going to give it a little padding just so it's not pushed right up against the edges of the label or the window itself. Next, we're going to pack our capture label, and we want this right in the center so that we can have our focus on what our drone is looking at. After we pack these, we're simply going to call the main loop method of the root window. This will op operate similar to a while true loop or a main method in other cases, but this is the way tkinter handles it. So after our try block, we're going to go ahead, and if everything's successful, we'll continue to run the main loop. Say an exception, though, is found. Then we'll go ahead and print to the console that there was an error running the application. Now we also have to handle, handle the case for when the user exits out of the root window. We're going to do that with our finally block, where we're going to go ahead and call a method that we name cleanup. It states here that when the root window is exited out of, we need to ensure that any resources we have left over are cleaned up. So we're going to look at the cleanup method next that will handle this for us. So our method for cleaning up resources we call cleanup, and we're going to keep the explanation simple as once we call this method, we're going to try to go ahead and just quit our root main loop. This is similar to OpenCV's destroy all windows. We can just leave it at that as our understanding. And after we do that, we're going to call system exit just to ensure everything is taken care of properly and the program is completely terminated. Now we'll do some exception handling just to follow best practices and such, but we don't need to cover any more of this. Now we've done our initial setup. We've created our initial drone controller class with a tkenter root window, a label to show the video stream, and a takeoff land button. Now we're going to use the dunder main method in here to initialize our drone controller class and then call the run app method which executes the tkinter main loop. We'll go ahead and run this now. As you can see here it pops up right away with our title as well as our button. Our capture is not showing but we have our min size so that it would if we had our proper method in place already which we're going to do next. So when we exit we'll also point out here that we print to the console cleaning up resources and that we finished with exit code zero. Perfect. Now you've seen how we did it in an object oriented fashion. 
just in case that was somewhat confusing, I went ahead and take, taken the same code and just put it in a new file to show you that you don't need to have it as a part of a class to achieve the same effects. So as you can see here, we create a root window in the same way, we give it a title in the same way, and a minimum size to display as in the same way. We also create the label and the button, and we pack them in the same way. Well, I keep saying it in the same way, but I should say the one difference here is that we don't have the self keyword because this is not a part of a special class we're making. We don't need to include self because we're just creating objects that are a part of the tkinter library. So with the root window and its title and minimum size defined in the same ways, except for the self keyword excluded, and the same being said for our label and button and how they're packed, we also will call the main loop method of the root window, but we won't need to call it in a method of a class. We'll simply call it after we've defined these things and packed the button and the label to the root window. This will cause the loop to continue when we run the program, as you'll see now. We hit run, it pops up, looks the same exact way as before. No command associated still. We can exit. We don't get our little custom code, but we do get that we finish with exit code zero still. So I suppose you don't need the system exit method in your cleanup, but I like to conclude it just in case. So now you've gotten to see an object-oriented version of this program and here a simplified version. I hope this allowed you to understand the tkinter library a little better and how we're using it in this scenario. Now that we've done this, we can move into adding our video stream which we'll receive with OpenCV and we'll then process with the pillow library so that we can display it as a tkinter compatible photo image object.